Hey, what's going on guys? And so today I'm going to be looking at a cool little program I found out to help calibrate my CRT television. And it's something that's um, going to help essentially calibrate, uh, you know, the black, white color levels. Um, mainly for me, what I want to do is check and set the um, screen kind of you know, horizontal, vertical linearity. I, I'm, I might have some issues with that. So I just want to make sure it's all set and displaying uh, the best it can do on this TV set. So yeah, I found this really cool tool online called the 240p test suite. I plugged it into my Sega EverDrive and it's running off that essentially. So this is a cool little program, like I said, to help you calibrate your color levels on your television CRT. And I think you can get it for different ever drives if you if you have one. So this is the Mega Drive one. So I'm going to go into some of the menus here and just show you what it is. There's a lot of stuff in here that I don't need and or don't really know what it is. But um, there are a couple of things I am interested in. Um, I do. I am happy essentially with the color. You can check the color levels, um, set the contr uh, the brightness and contrast and color levels on your TV set. It's really cool for that and different color bars. There's all sorts of different color screen calibration grids and patterns and stuff like that. And the one I'm really interested in at the moment, I'm pretty happy with um, the horizontal and vertical size. I've just got some linearity problems here. So um, there's a really cool test on here. If you have a look at my lin linearity, I've got the, my, my Mega Drive currently set to 50 hertz, so it's showing a 50 hertz pattern, um, which I'm happy with. But it's just I want to set get these circles inside the, you know, inside the screen, and so you can see my linearity is out. It's kind of offset. Um, I, th I think the term is overscan. It's kind of gone off the screen a little bit there. So I want to pull that back in. Um, there is a really cool little overscan tool here that shows you how much overscan that you actually have. So as you can see, you've got top, bottom, left and right. And when you uh, adjust these values, if they're all set to zero by default. And if you look at the top there, when I've set it to one, you'll see it's going to go down the screen one pixel, one pixel at a time. And it'll show you how much, how many pixels essentially your screen is off. Um, by essentially so down the bottom I've got perfect top and bottom pixel over scan but when you get to the left this side here I can get it to 11 before I see it and you can see it's kind of like at an angle um, if I can get the camera a little bit close to, to show you uh, you can see when the over the screen over scan comes in you can see it kind of cuts at an angle and if I move the right side in as well You can see where I have a bit of a kind of skewed set. I mean, it's not massively important that I correct this, but um, I would like to get my picture set as best as it possibly can. Like I said, I'm happy with the vertical um, top and bottom lines. Uh, so I'm just essentially going to set this linearity picture and I'm going to get the set open and adjust the board settings to see if I can get these circles uh, inside this line so um, yeah real cool little tool here um, it's even got let me go back an option and say show you something else I found uh, hardware tools it's got something you can test your controllers um, so you can kind of see like if you've got any issues with the buttons uh, so I've got left up down right nice responsive buttons start buttons there um, what's important with these Mega Drive pads, I mean, some of them can be a bit miss. My A button is absolutely fine, as you can see, lovely and responsive. B button's lovely and responsive. But C button, you can hear I'm clicking it, but it's not inputting. You have to really push it down for it to register a, a click. But nothing there, see? So I might have to clean up that contact. Um, so that's really interesting. Um, gives you a good view of you know how responsive your buttons are and if you know the contacts need to be clean and stuff uh, so it's a really nice little tool but yeah what I'm really concerned with at the moment is the linearity so I'm going to open up the TV I, I've tried to get into the service menu but the code for me doesn't work 
Um, so I've basically I'm just going to open up the TV and I'm going to manually set the linearity, get these circles inside um, best I can. So yeah, I'm going to break to that and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we've got the back of the TV off and this is what it looks like. So the adjustments I'm going to make are going to be down on the board on these um, white jumpers just in here where I'm pointing. Uh, these are the vertical and horizontal ones. There's a number of them dotted around the board, so I'm just going to be adjusting those um, until we can get those circles in. So yeah, let's, um, let's see if we can get it adjusted nicely. Okay, so the plan is to get these circles uh, square inside the frame of the picture. So um, I'm going to be adjusting it until it looks like it should, essentially. So yeah, let's start. Horizontal size. So if we bring that in, we could at least get the picture. inside the frame, right? Okay, so I'm just using Super Hang On to test the sides of the screen. Uh, so you can see it's cut off there, uh, but I am getting, a, I'm getting, I'm getting a good size there. I'm getting all of that picture on there, which is good. Um, but there is just that cut off there, unfortunately, for the 50, that, that, that's just the nature of 50 Hertz, unfortunately. Um, we'll stick it in 60 hertz and we'll see what the difference is. Okay, I'm just loading up Super Hang On now in 60 hertz mode. So it should be a fuller screen. Uh, okay, so I've just got a gap there. I would actually like to fill in. It's blanked off. So I do want to move the screen back this way. And a little bit of the bottom of the bike is cut off there, which is not a bad thing, but when you're seeking perfection, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, but um, better than it was. And then just that bit at the bottom of the bike, I'll just bring it up because I did adjust that slightly. Whoa, look at that. Oh, you can really see the scan lines when you stretch that out. That's interesting. Okay, so in conclusion, you know, I didn't get a perfect fit, um, but you know, it's not really worth dying over, <laughs> essentially. I've come to the uh, conclusion. So uh, I think that's as best as I'm going to get um, on a 50 hertz signal. I, d I don't want to be reaching into the board too far and possibly risk electrocuting myself for the, what, for what, 10, 11 pixels. Um, so yeah, I'm going to basically call it quits there and say I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But it's a, it's a nice little tool. Uh, it's really, um, really useful if you're really into uh, checking what uh, what your over scans are and your your screen levels and colours and stuff. So, uh, I mean, this was on eleven before. This was getting up to eleven, and now it's on six. So that's a bit of an improvement to what it was. You know, um, yeah, better than it was is is what I like to say. But yeah, thanks for watching. That's just a quick look at the. Uh, test suite 240p test suite nice little tool and uh, for any kind of geek geeky tech heads out there who want to you know uh adjust uh your 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 crts then uh, yeah you can you can use it just you know google is your friend essentially and download it for whatever ever drive you have and and try it out but yeah thanks for watching anyway bye for now